Steps are being made to sensitize the Vincentian public on the negative impacts of their actions on the environment through music. This through the launch of the Education Entertainment to Influence Behavior Toward Climate Change Adaptation Initiative by the Ministry of Culture, the National Emergency Management Organization NEMO and SVG AMP. The initiative is being commended by all the stakeholders including Cultural Officer Anthony Tibbles, who said he believes it is a worthy cause for his department to be a part of. I think it is particularly fitting that the Department of Culture should be a partner in a program such as this. We're speaking about education and entertainment to influence behavior change as we look to how we can adapt to the changing and the changes that are occurring in our climate. Music continues to be a very, very powerful tool. We are going to try with this project to do two things. We're going to try to improve the standard of our drumming so that people will be more interested in listening to us play. And then we are going to try to send messages about how the way that we act, the way that we treat Mother Nature is going to come back to bite us. Deputy Director of NEMO, Michelle Forbes, said they support the initiative fully. The National Emergency Management Organization supports the SVG Association of Music Professionals in your initiative to influence behavior towards climate change adaptation, particularly in those communities that have been impacted by recent hazards. NEMO has several public education programs, and I guess by now you know we use different forms of media, whether the print, the radio, flyers, etc. And all our programs are really aimed at fostering a culture of preparedness and readiness among our people. This initiative, therefore, takes a more hands-on approach of using our local artists and professionals to share information at the community knowledge on not only climate change adaptation, but disaster risk reduction, with the hope of influencing all to change their behavior and adapt to the possible impacts of any hazards. Principal of the Richmond Vale Academy, Stina Herberg, noted that the effects of global warming and climate change are very serious, and therefore it is very important for persons to understand the consequences of their actions. I think this is a very good and very important initiative because the climate is changing. Due to human activities, the climate is changing. The burning of fossil fuels around the world is polluting the atmosphere. This one big cause why we are having these disasters in St. Vincent. Another problem is deforestation. All around the world, about half of the world's forests are gone. We need trees to breathe. We need trees to keep the soil. Trees is crucial. Change of land use is also causing climate change. Also trees need to help us absorb CO2 pollution from the atmosphere. So what humans are doing is that we're polluting the atmosphere. And when we are doing this, we're trapping the sunlight so the planet is warming. Over the last decades, due to human activities, the planet has heated one degree. Some people where I'm born would think, oh, that's nice. Let's get a little warmer, but that's not very nice. Mm -hmm. You heat at one degree, what happens is that it's much easier for hurricanes to form. Mm -hmm. So we will have more hurricanes. And we know it now, and the thing is that global warming is serious and it's just going to get worse. Mm -hmm.